Hello, and welcome back to uh, this review. So this is actually replacing a different review um, that I had initially planned to do uh, the Green Mile. Watch the Green Mile for the very first time. Uh, but I decided, once again, not to. I don't know what it is, but every time I get very, very close to actually, you know, sitting down and watching the Green Mile for the first time, I just don't. And so it's forever going to be on my backlog. So I decided to swap it with a movie that I watched last night or last month for you because of a review from AJ over at AJ's Movie Place. Yes, I watched his review before I watched this movie and it is The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry, a movie that I loved. I knew after watching AJ's review and as the movie was playing out, I was going to love this movie because it there's some familiarity to it for me. Uh, the movie is basically about uh, Harold Fry uh, getting a letter from an old friend of his saying that she is unfortunately uh, dying of cancer and is in hospice and he goes to try and write a note uh, to send back to her. He can't find the words to it and as he's going to post it he decides uh, after listening to a story from a cashier in a, a petrol station about how uh, she gave her aunt hope that helped her survive uh, that kind of gets into his head of if I walk to where she is and tell her that I'm coming that might give her some help as uh, some something to hold on to you know and so he starts he starts on this journey and he tells his wife what he's doing she's not taking it well um and yeah as it progresses you know it's him walking uh resting uh, at one point he he collapses outside of a nurse's house uh who could can only get a job as a cleaner she f patches him up uh gives him some new shoes sends him out on his way and then as he's talking with someone at one of it, one of the stops um, after he realizes, you know, if I'm going to do this, uh, I don't, I shouldn't have any of my possessions on it. So he mails that back to his wife and he, he talks about, you know, and with this person, this person takes a photo of him and, uh, shares it on social media and they get, he gets this Forrest Gump, uh, style, uh, of people following him, at at some point in this journey one of the uh, the first person to join him is a guy named Wilf um, who is 18 19 a uh, bit of a drug addict but uh, there's a lot of religious undertones in this movie you know based off of faith and they keep asking Harold about his faith and he says oh I don't have any faith I'm just doing this because I believe if I can walk there and get there she will survive to kind of make up for her getting fired uh, for something he done and we don't find out about that until later on in the movie and uh, the, as I said he gets this big group of people eventually he finds out that Wilf is still taking pills and he goes missing and then uh, it's decided that he should continue on by himself because they're not progressing far enough and so that's what he does and there's even a few a few times where he's considering quitting uh, doing it, saying that he can't do it, and then uh, eventually he does get there, he does talk to her, and then he goes home. So why do I say that this f movie feels familiar to me? Well, for two particular movies, Philomena and Part, two movies that I have already reviewed on this uh, channel. So Philomena, Philomena is a film, I know it's... About, you know finding Philomena's son and all that but it's the way JD Dune uh, uh, Judy Dench portrays that reminds me of how the actor who plays Gerald Fry in this is because uh, I do I am familiar with this actor you know he plays Sergeant Bottomman in Hot Fuzz as well as Professor Slughorn in uh, the Harry Potter the last three Harry Potter films and then, of course, his wife is played by none other than Harriet Jones, former Prime Minister of the UK. Uh, insert, yes, I know who you are, joke here. Um, and both 
give a fantastic performance in this film. The other reason why Park has that has a familiarity with this movie to me is because of the unlikely friendship that Colomini gets with this character uh, who is a drug addict and that. So that's when uh, Gerald meets this drug addict guy and he's also, we're learning about his son who was an addict and that because he didn't want to look like his, his dad. And it's also a really good movie in the fact that whilst he's walking and doing this, not only is he doing it for uh, his friend, uh, he's also coming to terms with his, finally coming to terms with his son's death. Um, and we find out about that as well, you know, how uh, his, I think it's his wife, either him or his wife says, what happened afterwards and and that and yeah I, I genuinely enjoyed it uh, it's an hour and 48 minutes uh, and it's a shame that it's gonna really f go uh, fall under the radar for a lot of people and um, yeah that's gonna wrap up this video uh, thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed I will probably get to the Green Mile eventually just not this month or next month Maybe next year. Maybe I'll try again next year. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. I don't think this is, is going to do well. Uh, but yeah, highly recommend you check out this film if you can. And if it does get a physical media release like AJ, I will probably pick it up myself eventually. Uh, so yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I believe my next review is of the Hunger Games movie. Uh, I'll see you all for that one.